Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on inflection points. We're given a first derivative of a function, f, and we're asked to find how many inflection points does the graph itself has between the interval of x less than 2 pi and bigger than 0. Inflection point is just really a fancy word to see when does the cup goes full to empty, vice versa. So here I draw a very simple sine x curve. So at this point here, the cup went from empty, cut facing downward, to full facing upward. So inflection point is f double prime of x equal to 0. Now for this particular problem, first thing we need to do, of course, is to find a derivative of this first derivative. So let's take a look at it. First derivative, the derivative of the first term, that's 1, okay, minus 4, e to the function is by itself. Now here we have to use Hoban chain rules, times derivative of the top, which is minus cosine of 2x, but then 2x has to be taken derivative because it's a chain rule. So basically, the derivative of the function, second derivative, is 1 plus 8 e to the minus uh, sine of 2x times cosine of 2x. Now this function, try to solve it to f double prime of x is equal to 0, it's difficult. I don't know if maybe you have a quicker way to solve it, but when I look at it, I go, yuck, I don't want to solve for that one. Fortunately, they're not asking where the inflection points are. They're asking how many inflection points. So basically, we need to roughly guess what this graph of the second derivative look like, and then from there, have an educated guess how many times it's going to cross x-axis. Now for me, I have access to a computer, and I went online and I actually you know, looked over what the graph actually looked like. But before we show you the graph, let's take a look at it. This function over here was pumped up by one value. So basically, the function is whatever it is, and then added to one. So the basic function that determines how many times cross zero is the second half of it. So it's a one plus this big chunk. Now, if you notice the big chunk, this one is bounded by e to the 1, because e to the minus function is decaying or going up, depending on what this one is. However, okay, the sine x is bounded by plus minus 1. For that reason, the maximal value, if I do absolute value of e to the minus sine of 2x, this one is bounded by e to the 1, not 1, e to the 1. Okay, so that doesn't have any periodicity that's dominating. So the dominating one is actually the cosine 2x term. Now from here, I got enough clue to think, okay, the periodicity of cosine 2x is pi, so between 0 to 2 pi, it should have 4 points that's going to cross x-axis. So, of course, you can think of the other way around as well. But here's a graph generated by the computer. The program on the website is a Wolf, Wolfgram. Wolfgram. Um, I enjoy it, and you basically type in the command, so 1 plus 8, whatever that thing is, which is, I typed in the uh, word for word, and I ask it to plot from 0 to 2 pi. And you can see, sure enough, the periodicity is determined by the cosine x. So it does indeed have four um, zeros. Which means, to answer our question here, how many inflection points does the function itself have? It has four inflection points. Okay, now I still wish, after even get this point uh, with the computer graph and everything, I still wish I can solve it in the closed form, but it uh, looks pretty hairy and hideous, so I gave up, and uh, hopefully that's, um, that's enough to answer this question. All right, so once again, I found the second derivative and took a look at the function of the second derivative and said, you know what, 
what's really important is the cosine two x term. That determines how many times it's going to cross the x-axis so that I have equal to zero. And the computer generated graph does show that I have four zeros. All right. Hope it's helpful. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.